Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We know to constitute current in a conductor, the ends of the conductor needed to be maintained at different potential. In this video, we are going to discuss about a law which relates potential difference and electric current. The law is nothing but Ohm's law. It says that electric current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential across the conductor at a constant temperature. And now when I say current, it represents steady current. And the steady current means direct current battery or cell is a source of direct current i will explain ohm's law with the help of a simple experiment here i have a conductor a piece of wire whose uh, resistance is unknown i will pass current through this conductor with the help of a power supply. This one is a regulated power supply. It will produce steady current. Here I have an ammeter which measures current and this one is a voltmeter which is used to measure the volt voltage. And here I have a rheostat. Here start means variable resistor. With the help of this, we can vary the current flowing through this conductor. And what you see here is nothing but a plug key. It is used to make and break the circuit. In simple words, when I remove the key, the flow of current stops in the circuit. When I plug this, the current flows. So it is a simple switch. Now, I'll turn on the power supply. You can see, uh, now, when I move this, you can see there is a variation in the current as well the voltage. Now we'll uh, vary the voltage and uh, and fix this at 2 volt. When I do so, the current read by ammeter is a 0.5 ampere. Now I will double the voltage. I will fix the voltage as 4 volt. When I do so, you may observe the current have also increased. It was 0.5 ampere earlier. Now it is 1 ampere. This shows that as the current increases, it also increases the voltage. This verifies Ohm's law that says that the steady current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the conductor at a constant temperature. Let me provide the expression for Ohm's law. In the previous video, we have obtained an expression for current intensity, which is known as J equals to sigma E. This is the magnitude of current density and it is known as microscopic form of Ohm's law. 
So with the help of this, I am going to get the Ohm's law. We know current density J is a electric current passing through per unit area of a conductor and a electric field E is nothing but a gradient of potential that is voltage per unit length of the conductor. Now before going ahead let me explain you the case we have taken here. I consider a conductor of length L whose area of cross section is A. Now to constitute current in the conductor I have connected the two ends of this conductor to a cell which provides a potential V. So the potential difference between these two ends of the conductor is V. When the potential difference is created here, it constitutes current. Now, for better understanding, I take this equation as equation number 1, this as equation number 2, and this one as equation number 3. Now, I am going to uh, substitute equation 2 and uh, 3 in uh, 1. And see what do I get? Here, in the place of j, I write uh, this i upon a equals to sigma as such. In the place of e, v upon n. Now, rearrange this. I keep a V one side, which is the potential difference, and remaining terms are taken to the another side. So I upon A, L, which is the dividing here, will multiply when goes to the left hand side, and a sigma will divide. I will get this. Now, I will rearrange the last equation in this manner. L upon A sigma into L. Or I can write I this side for my convenience. Now, we have studied resistance R is directly proportional to L and it is inversely proportional to area of cross section. When I combine these two, we get this expression for R. This is L upon A. Now, on removing this proportionality, we will get this equation for R. A rho is proportionality constant. That is known as resistivity. So, in our case, if you look at this carefully, we have sigma, which is nothing but conductivity. So, in the place of rho, we know uh, rho is reciprocal of sigma. I am going to mention this value in the place of this rho. So, what I will get? I will get r equals to. L upon sigma e. Now I box this. Now if you look at the, if you compare these two, you will find that this part L upon sigma a e, is nothing but r. Uh, for convenience, I take this one as equation number four. This as a five. Now I am going to substitute equation number five in a four. You want to do so? I get this. V becomes equal to I into R. This is the final equation and we call this one as Ohm's line macroscopic form. It's called as Ohm's law. Ohm's law. And it says that 
current flowing in a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference between two ends of the conductor. And here R is the resistance offered to the flow of current by the conductor. Now, uh, if you draw a graph by taking voltage along x axis and current along the y axis, then the graph may appear something like this voltage here, and the current is taken along y axis. If you obtain a straight line from the origin, then the component for which we have drawn the graph is said to obey Ohm's law. And here, the slope taken, suppose I say A, B, this C, then this part A, B is delta I and B, C is the delta V. And the slope for this curve will give us, we are playing this way, A, B upon B, C. Here A, B is delta I and B, C is delta V is the slope. We know I upon V from this uh, equation. I upon V is nothing but reciprocal of R. You know that I write here. V is equal to the R and uh, R is equal to V upon I. Then I upon I upon V is nothing but 1 upon R. So by keeping that in mind, here slope. Uh, Slope obtained from this curve is equal to reciprocal of R. Now, as I told you, this graph, if you get a straight line curve on drawing a graph between V and I, then the component set to obey Ohm's law, and such a component is called as ohmic component. Ohmic component. As I told you, ohmic behavior. Suppose the curve is not a straight line. That means the component do not obey Ohm's law and they have non-ohmic behavior. Remember that. I draw a graph between V and I and the curve is not a straight line. The we curve or something else. That means uh, the object to whom we have drawn the graph said to have non-ohmic behavior and they do not uh, obey Ohm's law. This is what it means. I hope uh, this video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.